Oh, all right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I just finished up doing a video on my first aid kit. So you guys are going to see that tomorrow. A lot of people saw me doing the range kit, range bag, and they was wondering, where's your IFAC? And, well, when you do a lot of shooting or whatever, uh, they're separate bags, shooting stuff, first aid stuff. <laughs> anyway, okay, so uh, the purpose of this video, I want to talk about the hypocrisy of these folks in the, uh, what do you call it, the Judiciary Committee in the House. Uh, when they were talking about doing this red flag deal, um, a lot of the Republicans were wanting to enact this thing where they would uh, go after gang violence as well, and make it part of the red flag law. Now, we all disagree on this red flag law. We don't, don't think for a second that I am in agreement because I believe in this guy right here. This is the Constitution of the United States of America, USA. And uh, with the Declaration of Independence, very cool. So um, one of the things that uh, they were trying to do with this red flag law uh, is, and, and you know what, uh, if, and I would, I would back this up because uh, the real violence in this country is not by some jackass over here that uh, you know, gets pissed off at his wife and next thing you know, uh, the cops are showing up you know, saying a domestic violence thing. That, that's not, I, I realize that that's a bad thing, but it's not what they're trying to do. What they're trying to do through this red flag deal is disarm Joe Public in an effort to kind of enhance this red flag law to where it would actually accomplish something, some of these Republicans were pushing the fact that we needed, or they needed to, start looking at going after the gangs. I mean, here's the whole thing. You've got to think about where is all the gang violence. You've got Los Angeles, you've got Chicago, uh, New York, Baltimore, most of your larger municipalities who are run by who? That's right, Democrats. And one of the things that they were balking at was, well, we can't do that because somebody could just jot down 13 and they could be on this gang list. And, you know, it was in my, in, uh, okay, so let's back off. So it was real amazing to me is that these individuals were balking at this whole thing. We can't do that. There's, there's just children on that list. You know, they just, they, they, they can, there has a problem with that. But however, the hypocrisy of it is that remember when they were going after people on the no fly list. Okay, they, oh, we got you. If you're on a no fly list, you shouldn't have a gun. Now, I agree that there are some people who are probably on a no fly list that shouldn't have a gun, but also the problem is that there are people on that list who are on there by mistake who, in turn, would go through to 4473 and their name would come up of being on a no fly list. And next thing you know, uh, Bobby, who just got out of the military, uh, served honorably with an honorable discharge, and he's getting ready to go to college, wants to protect himself and his family. Somehow his name well, is the same name as somebody else on it, and he can't buy a gun. And the Dems are completely for that. But sure as shit, we can't go after gang violence. And that's where the majority of the gun crime happens. Not 2% of the people, 2% <laughs> of the guns in our general population are from private sales. Did you know that? I'm probably wrong on that because I just read something on headlines and I just throw it out there, whatever. So anyway, my whole deal here is the hypocrisy of these individuals this, who are led by Jerry Nadler and these other jackasses who have introduced everything that can stick to the wall in an effort to prevent you and myself from having the firearm we deem fit. This competition firearm would have been on a list because it is capable of holding more than 10 rounds. This magazine right here would be on the list. But they don't want to go after the root of the problem. Go after the people who are causing issues. And they are causing it for you and me because they just lump that in with everything else that goes on. And they look at you and me as a part of the gang. Oh, no, wait a minute. They don't because they give the gangs more rights than you and I. When I read this, I got fired up. And I had to share it with you guys. If you haven't heard about it, do a little research on it. It's absolutely amazing. But the mere fact that these jackasses won't let the gang portion be a part of the red flag, but they also want the no-fly list to be reported to the 4473 or Nix is absolute BS. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm Codeboy32. 
If you support this video, give it a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, and all that other neat jazz. And we always end it like this. See that flag right there? You guys see this right here? God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. And I'm talking about those who uphold our Constitution, and you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta think what the hell I got else to say. I get fired up. Anyway, y'all be good. I'm out of here. Be yeah, mm, I'll do the jazz. Talk to you later. Go. Bye.